How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another After Action Report with Ronin 47R. Today, I'm continuing on with the Tier 7 heavy tank from the German line, known as the Tiger. This is probably my last group of videos uh, on the Tiger for a while, um, as I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, and we'll take a look at the end. I believe I acquire enough experience points to uh, go ahead and unlock the uh, the Tiger 2. So here we are, opening up on Muravanka, and uh, it is a standard battle. As usual, I like to go towards the, uh, the south there, and a little to the east. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but of course, as I'm starting to record, I have the, uh, the military aircraft flying overhead. <laughs> so... Um, I guess it just adds to the ambiance, right? So here I am. I'm indicating I'm going over towards the uh, the E9 area. And you can see there are some heavy tanks uh, that choose to begin to head in that direction. Um, one sort of stops over at A6, but, you know, we'll see how this thing unfolds. Um, there is a, a medium tank coming along as well. And uh, you can see there's a, a message from Teamwork and Buddha. Um, and you can, if you follow the previous... Uh, video uh, when I'm in the Tiger, um, you'll know what that's uh, what that's linked to uh, because he and I uh, ran into each other in a previous game, and uh, he's just sending me a message um, about that uh, interaction because we were on the same team and and so on and so forth. You can see that video um, also in a Tiger after action report. Anyways, getting back over here, you can see that there is the Hellcat. And I'm very carefully uh, trying to shoot in between the pillars of the fence because if I shoot into the pillar of the fence, I'm going to waste a shot. I will destroy the fence, yes, but I'm not going to get any damage on the Hellcat. Uh, very rarely do you, or at least for me, uh, am I able to shoot through something that can be destroyed, um, some type of environmental piece like a fence or whatnot, and still cause damage on the enemy. Now the Panther there, I was able to get some... Uh, some damage on him, you know, 200 and change. The Hellcat's gone. Now the Panther, um, interestingly enough, almost kind of takes his spot in the, you know, the same location there. Um, there's just a piece of him sticking out past the, uh, the house there. And I wasn't sure if I can get a piece there, so I try to break some things and uh, also get a piece of him. Now I'm trying to track him, and I missed. I'm trying again. And there you go. He is now tracked. And he kind of looked to the side. And you can see him looking around. He's kind of curious who's nailing him. What I'm doing right now is I'm not worried about damage. Uh, I'm just trying to keep him tracked so my buddies can get some damage on him. So Because he's down to like 45% health. And he just lost another 236 from my buddies. Still trying to keep him tracked. Doing my part there. I got a critical hit. Still no damage. I'm thinking, uh-oh, <laughs> here comes some bad guys. Because I stopped to look uh, and I wasn't able to keep him tracked, he was able to pull back into the house. Now, there's an AT-2 up there. Um, can be a problem for me. Also, there's a heavy tank, the KV-1S, and there he is. And he's disappeared, but we know he's lurking around somewhere. And there he is. He doesn't even notice me. Boom, got a nice 246 on him. And I believe I damaged him as well. Uh, not just health points, but I mean as far as a critical. Um, didn't quite see what the icon was. Maybe it was a gas tank or something. And, oh, that scared me. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Luckily, I bounced the AT2 because I was thinking, wait a minute. This guy's looking right at me. So here I am thinking, oh, I'm going to get surrounded. Have to commit. Now the AT2 goes very slowly. There's the panther that I was hitting earlier. And he is damaged, so you got to take out, take this guy out. You know, take the guy who's the weakest, get the gun off the battlefield. I'm gonna take him out. I know I'm exposing myself. I got the AT2 shooting me in the hiney. KV1S is laying into me. I'm on uh, fire. Put that out. And I'm moving forward. I'm using the Dead Panther as a block at the uh, between me and the AT2. I'm going after the KV1S. There we go. Boom. He's done. And I'm using the KV1S to continue to block me from the AT2 using the terrain and uh, my speed overall uh, compared to the AT-2 to outdistance him. Now what I'm doing here is I should have taken the uh, the road to the right, but I'm trying to just get out of there. I mean, it's pretty even teams. It's 10 to 8. Not too bad. And I'm thinking this AT-2 is not really going to catch me. Um, I should not have gone up that hill. But you see, I'm highly detected and there's artillery. And the question is, is who's detecting me? I don't see anybody around me, but yet I am being detected. I can't really stop where I am because that AT-2 is going to have a line of sight on me in any moment. Um, and there he is. He hit me. 
and he hit me. Or I guess it was a bounce, and then he hit me. So in the end, the AT2 finally gets revenge on me. Um, thought I can pull it out, but uh, I couldn't. Now in hindsight, I should have gone up that road. Um, that would have blocked me from any line of sight from the enemies to the south. And then I could have played uh, Ring Around the Rosie with the AT2, at least in theory, and um, outmaneuvered him. But I gambled, you know. <laughs> Life happens, right? And uh, you can see that I was killed. So, you know, I mean, there's only uh, four reds left. Um, so I'm kind of peeking in here on the team and seeing what's going on. Also, two. Um, I remember that I got a message from uh, Teamwork and Buddha from him and his E25 in a previous game on mines. And I was in my Tiger. And so I'm going to go ahead and read what is going on. You can see that guy's uh, spamming me a little bit there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to clear the uh, the new message icon here. So I'm just going through what's going on. Reading. Clearing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyways, I finally get to teamwork in Buddha. Um, you can see what he wrote there. And we're on the same team. We did well. And then, uh, I don't know, I guess I spoke to him with a different gamer tag. Or maybe it was a... Um, a YouTube name or something. I, I don't recall. So anyways, yeah, it was a good game that him and I had. So I'm back to here. I'm back live. Um, while I was gone, looking at the message, only uh, one red died. Uh, we just now lost a green. And here we have the uh, Tier 5 French Heavy Tank. And he is fully upgraded. Um, I jumped over here, looking at the uh, the VKH. I mean, it's the VK36, um, you know, L1H, but... For short, I just go through VKH, and he is cruising along so far so good. Okay, heavy tank hanging out here with the artillery. Now, the person who is spotting the enemy tank destroyer is the uh, the BDR, the fully loaded BDR with the 90 millimeter gun. It's a great gun, especially as a tier five. AT2 though, has great armor. Now he just got taken for 90 points. He bounces off the AT2. The artillery doesn't do any damage either. Now, the heavy tank has uh, one big job, in my opinion, and that is to keep eyes on this artillery. Uh, artillery. Keep eyes on this tank destroyer. Uh, he just got two, 207 off of him, which is great. Um, he had to get out of there. But the thing is, his job, I really you know, think that instead of getting damage, he needs to get in the game. Keep eyes on while he's further away because the artillery is waiting on him, you know? Um, I don't know who spotted him, but he was spotted again. Misses the BDR. And he's finally taken out by the M44, which of course is our uh, artillery on the uh, the green team. And for some reason, somebody's trying to cap. What are you doing down there? There was one guy left. All right, so we pulled out a victory. Um, I got 1,494 experience points, 32,003 in silver. Eh, you know, not too bad, not too crazy. Really wish I didn't die in the beginning. But even though I died so early on, I still came out with second place, and I'll take it. You can see the three guys that uh, I had contact with. And now we're jumping back. And we're blending in to the, uh, the next game here. So, I'm trying to recall what it was I was doing with this. Oh, okay, that's what it was. So, <laughs> so while I'm loading into the next game, it's a great opportunity to take care of your... Uh, your email, although it's not email, it's your uh, text messages. So, and I wasn't playing with the uh, with a headset, so I couldn't leave an audio message. So I was stuck using text, and it takes me forever to use text on the, uh, you know, uh, typing away like that. I, I, not not fun for me. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be rolling into a Corellia map and another standard battle. Um, I like this map a lot. And lately, I've been kind of going towards the north. It's kind of 50-50, but now I'm starting to lean towards the north a lot. Who knows? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. A little peek at my loadout there on the, uh, the Tiger with 65 uh, standard rounds, 5 premium and 2 HE. And I'm just going with your basic kits there with the uh, manual fire extinguisher, the small first aid, and the uh, small repair kit. So I'm indicating the, uh, the north, uh, C2. Looks like there's a tank destroyer heading in that direction. And, uh, you know, I'm just cruising along, doing my thing. 
depending on where I spawn, um, I'll go north in between the two and three line, like you see the tank destroyer and heavy tank doing. If I'm spawned a little further back, um, you know, at this spawn point, uh, then I'll just take the one line straight up because obviously you can't uh, you can't traverse, you can't uh, get past some of the, uh, the land formations there, so you have to kind of move around it. So here I am moving forward, and there is a you know large rock formation here, which is uh, helpful for cover uh, when you need to this far back. I don't plan on needing it this far back. I hope not. I'm gonna try to get moved up to the front. This is one of the tricky things, you know. You you go too far to the front, you are caught in the wind. You are uh, in a bad situation. Um, sometimes your aggressive behavior pays off if you can catch the uh, the enemy team um, not prepared. So here you have this T-20, uh, the American medium tank, cruising up ahead, and he's doing a lot of scouting here. He's really, really pushing, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go with him, I'm going to support him. Um, you can see there is the uh, the mutant there, that's the uh, tier 8 premium, and I'll be honest with you, um, initially, when I first was playing this, I literally was thinking, you know, I just kind of glanced over the name and uh, really wasn't paying attention to the outline or the silhouette and I was like oh it's a jumbo you know I just I just didn't really pay attention so there were some bad choices on my part there with that tank and then I realized holy whoops that's not really working where I'm shooting and that sort of thing And at the same time I was getting nailed by all those guys so my foolish mistake is getting way too far ahead and uh, you know pushing it just it just didn't work out so jumping over to south coast um, Switching it up, not a standard battle, but now it's an encounter battle. And the latest version, um, as of the time of this recording, which isn't too long ago, is uh, you know the D3, um, E3 areas where, this, where the map is located, neutral. Um, and then of course it's just a race uh, to either destroy each other or capture the flag. So here we go, running along. And, uh, oh, this is kind of a silly side note. I remember uh, this exact stretch of territory. My, uh, my TV wasn't giving me sound. And for, it, just, it just does that sometimes because of, um, like, the HDMI is just not synced up or something. So to remedy that, um, I have to turn off my TV and then turn my TV back on. And then usually the, uh, the HDMIs um, all realign. So I had to drive. Um, blind because I didn't want to stop I wanted to hurry up and keep going so I um, set him on a course of clear of a clear path and turn off the TV let it cool down turn it back on it's warming up and I'm like okay 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 and then I was like uh oh uh oh see look oh my god I'm <laughs> it's a late late turn well as it turns out you know the TV's now rectified and I'm saying whoa look at this I'm in a spot for the M6 I'm not gonna follow my friend here to the a1 uh, let's work on this M6, this tier 6 heavy tank uh, from the American line. Not much room. I uh, tracked him, um, but there's a small window, a small area where you can start getting some pieces uh, on them. And that's 253 I rolled there, which is great. I'm detected. Uh, they do have one artillery, so I kind of like to move, even if it's just a little bit, it just, I don't know, maybe it doesn't do anything, but it, it helps me feel a little bit better. Because uh, I really feel like I'm just hanging it out there. Took a blind shot just in case. You never know. And then I was kind of concerned. I'm like, wait a minute. Four captors? I mean, it's like 28 seconds, 25 seconds. I don't know. Can't see it. But I'm thinking, holy mackerel. These guys are capping already. We got to get in there and reset this thing. I mean, now it's down to 20 seconds. So I felt very, very pressured. So good job on the red team. And I felt, well, <laughs> I got to take one for the team. I got to play really recklessly because I gotta solve this. Um, I can see that it's flashing now that we have entered, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. I go way too far forward, get a shot on the KV-2, but only on the track. And then all I do here with the uh, T-29 is I roll a 252, but he's like, he knows that I'm here. Uh, KV-2 is in the open there, so a 243. He's tracked again uh, by someone else. And um, it looks like I was just a little bit late, or I did get some damage, and then he was destroyed. Now, I wanted to be a smarty pants and sneak up on that T-29. However, he dies. But then the T-50 is, is available. I stopped to look. Um, he's taken out. But now the KV-3 can see me, and I should have really gotten out of there. However, I'm still spotted. 
and the tank destroyers off in the distance somehow um, have a view on me. I really blew that shot terribly. I wasted so much time. Look at this. Watch. And I blew a second shot on the T-43. Meanwhile, you know that KV-3 uh, to my right's creeping up on me. Not good. And he, I just bounced the shot. I rolled a 251 on him. Now I finally took some damage from the KV-3. Not happy about that. Bounced a shot on the KV-3, but yet I took another hit. Not happy about that either. So I'm trying to get out of there. Luckily I bounced. But I'm pulling back as fast as I can. And I'm thinking, this guy's getting some pretty good view on me. Oh, that sucks. Alright, so here we go. Um, lost him in the scope. And I don't even understand. I don't know if my guy drove in front of me. I don't really know what happened. And then I notice, wait a minute, the indicator shows I'm getting shot from behind. So then I come out, I turn around, I'm thinking, oh, okay, smarty pants. This guy's actually a jumbo. It's not, wasn't my mistake from the previous game. So I got to rush this guy and uh, take him out, do what I can. Uh, so he damaged me twice. So to his credit, good for him. I don't want to keep taking those hits. He has a pretty decent rate of fire and he has a very good gun, um, all things considered. Oh, not to mention, of course, the armor. Um, I'm only one tier ahead of this guy, so it's not like I'm, you know, magically invincible. Although I am magically delicious. <laughs> All right, so anyways, um, I thought I was going to get a good hit on that commander hatch. It did not work out. He's rushing forward. He knows he's got something on me. Bam, I got a great hit on him. Now, see that last bounce, my reload, and his reload. You know I'm going to beat him out. That's why I didn't have to worry about the... Uh, the cover, I really stuck myself out there. Took a good aim because I did not want to bounce off of the jumbo. Because if I bounced off the jumbo, he would have got another shot into me. And that's why I kind of, uh, you know, felt confident enough to really stick it out there. All right, so now heading back down to business. Um, one of our guys is trying to get the flag, which is great. So now I'm going back to my first project, which was uh, working down here. And I thought I was going to blast right through this wall. And I realized that can't be broken. So, okay, so now I'm slowly going in reverse. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get a hit on this guy. I rolled a 234. However, the tank destroyer, um, almost in front of me and to the left of the camera, um, can see me, can lay down some fire, and the KV-3 is still laying into me. He pulls back a little bit, so he's no longer in my view. Um, but he can pop out at any time. There's that tank destroyer um, up to the, you know, the center. And then there was somebody off in the distance, but now they disappeared. Oh, and I took another round that missed me, but I took another round. Okay, the IS was able to, uh, you know, be hit for a 231. KV-3 is back in the picture, and the tank destroyer never really went anywhere. I'm, already, I'm ammo racked. Not good. Not good at all. I repaired it. Um, my driver is out, so now my maneuverability is uh, suffering. I'm trying to get out of there, because that really blows. Now they're contesting the flag. So, I mean, this is a really neck and neck uh, battle. So, pretty good. There's a TOG 2 out there. And that was it. The IS caught a glimpse of me and put me down, probably with that 122 millimeter gun. And it was over. So, not good for me. Looking at the numbers, um, looks like we have 11 uh, versus 12 there. Um, if I was going to lay odds, just kind of the way these guys have been playing, I don't think that the green's going to win. But uh, you never know. So let's just see how it plays out. The KV-3 uh, on our team, the one of two heavy tanks, uh, does get a hit on the IS, which is awesome. He should be side scraping at this point, but he's not. Don't know why. Um, I would, but whatever. Um, still nothing. Still nothing. And finally, boom, beats him out with the reload. However, our other heavy tank has died and was killed by an SU-100. They have a Hellcat. They have a TOG-2 and uh, the SU-100. The, uh, the TOG-2, um, very formidable and uh, lots and lots of health. Now, here's what's interesting. I don't know if this guy's out of ammunition or just accidentally used the wrong round or what happened. But he only got 69, I believe, points of damage off of the TOG-2. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, with the KV-3. I wish they would show us the uh, the consumable status of uh, the tanks that you're viewing. There's the Hellcat. Great view range. Finally the KV-3 was able to take him out, but sadly was taken out by the TOG-2 in return. Leaving the TOG-2 and the SU-100. Now the artillery is the only thing left on our team. 
Frankly, I don't know why I'm not following the, uh, the artillery on the camera. Um, it might be because I was fiddling with some you know, piece of equipment or doing something. I don't know. Um, but he's coming down to the flag, and I'm not quite sure what his plan is. Um, finally, I finish up whatever it is I was doing, and I'm uh, following the, the artillery. Now, it's interesting because I would not have done what he's doing. Oh, well, initially. However, once someone is taking the flag, then, of course, you're, you, know, you got to do what you got to do. But, but when someone, if nobody's taking the flag, you don't know where they are. Once someone takes the flag, at least you know they're in the circle somewhere. And, um, you know, that's when you kind of make your decision of you know, where to go. But I really wasn't sure what his plan was at the time, unless it was just to hopefully just reset in general. Um, so I walked away with 46,000 and change, uh, 2,000 and change experience, and a first place on that game. So, you know, it wasn't too bad. Um, didn't want it to end the way it did, but uh, it wasn't too bad. All right, now this one here, uh, unlike, I, unlike the normal games where I start um, at 15 minutes at the very beginning of the game, or, or you know, 10 minutes, depending on what kind of game it is, um, you can see the clock started uh, at 14.01 or something really low. And the reason being is that I was recording games, and then all of a sudden, my game capture card died. Well, okay, it, it, the, the software froze. Okay, there's a Hellcat, and look at this. Wait for it. Bam, 237. He has about 55% of his health. He is pulling back. But then he stops. What is he doing? I go. I roll a 241 on him, and he was taking a shot at what I believe is our, our artillery, maybe? Um, but anyway, so my point is, is that the um, I had to restart the software for the game capture card, and the time I got everything set up and going again... Um, I'd lost almost a full 60 seconds of this particular game. Um, as far as you're concerned, though, you really didn't miss much other than me driving from the spawn point up to, uh, you know, B, uh, B9 or something. So here I am moving to the top, and uh, you can see there I do have a KV-2 who is uh, helping out there, um, taking the hill. Did not know where that Hellcat went. I'm thinking, is he going to ambush us? Did he, where did he pull back? Um, so I'm trying to play cautious here because he has a, the Hellcat has a great, great gun. Now there are two tank destroyers left on the team. One is down below. I don't think that's the Hellcat because he couldn't have gotten that far that quickly. So this guy could be anywhere. Now I stopped to try to land these heavy tanks. Um, but there was just really nothing to, uh, to choose from. I was very surprised that there was a captor. Oh, and there's the Hellcat down below. Um, from the, uh, the top of the hill who just now died but um, I'm surprised that someone's taking uh, our flag already um, but he was finally just now put down you can see wizard Ken just jumped online there that notification pops up so anyways there's really nothing to see up here at the top the KV-2 is uh, in a position where he's uh, attempting to uh, lay down some fire and I'm telling this guy hey buddy follow me let's let's you know let's go this way um, it's six to eight, so the odds are against us, but you know, depending on how this plays out, it could still be done. So we're cruising along here, trying to see what I can see here in the back, and I'm trying to hustle as much as possible because I really want to make sure that we put a lot of guns on one enemy. If we're all just spread out, um, it really doesn't work out that well. Um, as I'm driving along, I'm keeping an eye on what's going on in front of me, but I'm also keeping an eye on the on the map, and I'm really concerned about the uh, that uh, tank destroyer over at C6, C7. Now I'm expecting to see somebody any second here, you know, maybe the uh, the artillery, who knows? So I'm coming over here now. Notice I am avoiding the flag. Uh, the reason being is that I'm attempting to be sneaky. If I drive through the flag, they'll know that at least somebody's back here, and they'll have a, an, a hesitation. Um, to, you know, to head to turn back or whatnot, and I really I want their eyes looking elsewhere. Don't look at me, you know. Don't even think that I'm over here. Now I can see the Chiri over there working on the flag. I'm way over here at uh, F5, almost a G5. Sent that shot, reloading, and that's too small of an area. He keeps rolling back into that, and he is done. So at least I saved the flag for now. It's 10 to 11. Um, still doable. I see the artillery there. Um, didn't want just the easy kill type of thing. I figured, hey, that was a good area to sweep by with, and we can still take out somebody. 
Uh, that's why I head in this direction. I don't always go for the artillery because it's, well, I'm not going to say it's an easy kill, but, you know, obviously it's harder for the artillery to defend himself. Now, this guy's coming in fast. He doesn't know I'm here. Boom. Um, try to set myself up to take out this VKP. He was too quick for me. So now I have a chance on here with a quick fire there for 221. He's turning around. I don't know what he's trying to figure out. Got 254, excuse me, 264 off of him. I don't know what his plan is because, I mean, he's really out there a lot. But um, thank you. So took him out. Kept on going. I know the artillery beat feet. Now, look, there he is. And, ooh, I, can, did you see the bounce? I bounced an artillery shot. How awesome is that? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes. <laughs> Finally put him down. Beat out his uh, his next shot. So somehow we scraped out a victory from that. It wasn't too bad, you know. Johnny on the spot paid off. All right. So you're looking at 46,000 silver, 1,521 experience. And, that, you know, that was a pretty satisfying game. Um, a little slow in the beginning, but uh, worked out pretty well. I pulled out a third place in that. Uh, but the important thing is that the team overall, uh, you know, we won. So good job on that. Now, where did my crew go off to? Oh, I see. There they are. Okay, girls, tell them who they are if they're receiving this transmission. You are one of the 47, 47 Ronin. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.